I know the grace of the Lord is sufficient. I know every one of us, and I know you know me. <laughs> it is where a lot of time I make a lot of just don't count it as a as a real. It is where we want to ask me that why did they make joke in the in the Bible? Jephthah make a joke. He make his he read it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God will help us in Jesus' name. Also, I want us to know that we are family and we are so limited. And then the way we are brought up is different individually. A lot of things will be happening as an individual. It's not like headquarters church where they are about 5,000. Sometimes when I take some people to the church, when we are going, we lost our, ourselves on the road. It's not like that. I see your save, I see your, I see your face, I see it. So lots of things will be happening. It's shaping us as a woman being and as a, as a, as an elder. I doubt if there's anything anybody can do for me that will pay me now. And I wish somebody can slap my face and see. You will just say, I will say, thank you. God bless you. It is this way in Jesus' name. So in the house of the Lord, there will be a lot of things like that. The grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us in Jesus. Just let it go. Let it go. Not because of any other thing. You need to be praying for one another. You need to be doing this. This word, this woman in this Bible, in the book of Kings, when we read about it, this is my child. It's not your child. This is my child. It's not the right. But do not forget that Solomon has asked for wisdom. Solomon has said, okay, that be the case. Bring the, the life child and the dead one. Let me... Let me slide um, two of them. But because of the pain, the, the, the owner of the life said, take it. Um, only God knows the kind of prayer that woman has been praying. That God, for my child to be die, just let, it, let me be saved. So God is going to help us and going to be fight for everyone of us in Jesus' name. Do not forget that whatever you do, we do it for Christ, not for human beings. Today, by the grace, of, I was able to talk to the pastor of the, as I promised us, that I will say thank you to them. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he did not know that we are using their songs. You will not believe it. And I only repeat it, I do a lot of things. He didn't know. He didn't know. So, and there are a lot of challenges we face it to face it. In fact, he will be the one that will lead our last stage of our prayer this week. We talk at length. We continue to pray for every pastor and everyone that God will continue to help everyone of them in Jesus' name. He was very, very happy. Today, by the grace of the Lord, I will talk to us about fear not. There was something that happened in our evangelism the last time we went out. I don't know that they are not have been flowing on the on the on my people to the extent that in the rain they were standing there and then they were sharing the word of the Lord. Not only that one, uh, you might have never seen this before, and then the homeless person just put them and said, bring your trust. And they started sharing the trust. Still started sharing the trust. I mean, the trust. This is what we can see. Uh, many of us that have listened to Pastor Dada message, we see that uh, he said there was a time when he was young in the Lord, and then he come to the level that the madmen are not running after him. He was the one that was running after madmen. They are not in flow on the, my people. I pray that God will continue to anoint you more in Jesus' name. And you are going to be continue to be useful for the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear not. If it is somebody like me, and then, you know in my language. <laughs> you know, it's the same. <laughs> you see, I think I've told one of us that proverb. You say, when you see a cow, uh, hey, that person like me, it's by system. By system, you'll be running away from that cow. <laughs> <laughs> but if you say this, car, nobody will know that I'm running away. <laughs> if it is me, those people, I won't deceive you. <laughs> I know I will not. <laughs> but, 
they took picture with them they took everything with them i pray that nothing will continue to flow in jesus name and now let me remember the message fear not fear not anywhere you go anywhere you find yourself the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon you in Jesus. I pray I can, I wish I can show you the picture to let you see what God did. In the book of Matthew chapter 10, the book of Matthew chapter 10, the book of Matthew chapter 10, 24, the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord. If they have called the master of the house Belzebul, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hide that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak you in light, and what you hear in the air, that preach you upon the housetop. And they unfair not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. It is now time for Jesus Christ to be preparing to go. And then, you know, he has faced a lot of challenges. He has faced a lot of odd. He has come a, a long way to get to where he is now. And then, it just, for him, he was fearful. If I, I belong to my father, and then my daddy loved me so much like this. And all these things that happened, happened to the extent that the Jew have been promised that the Messiah will surely come. And I come, I am present, and I'm telling the Jew that I'm the Messiah, but still, they did not accept me. What about if I'm not there? And all these challenges face disciples that is facing us in this present time. Are they going to be shake? Are they going to be run away? Like what Peter did said, I did not know him. My dear brother, my dear sister, Jesus now take the opportunity to address disciple a disciple to be ready for all common as a child of god as a somebody whom god has called as his disciple as a minister in his fire there will be a lot of common in our way but god is challenging us no matter what the case may be. You are not above your masters. To the extent that all the challenges that happen to me, all the challenges that I face, all the challenges that I en encounter, they will, not they will not happen to you. Jesus Christ was telling disciples, forget it. And if those things has happened to me, surely they will happen to you. But that's what that one, I do not say I do not know the word. I do not say I do not know them. I do not say I will not, I will not die for them. I do not say the pain will be too much for me to the extent that I will be, I will be crying, Father, why are you forsaking me? But that's what all those challenges, disciples, I want you to know. That's what all those challenges that comes, see, I stay firm in my promise that I will die for these people. What is that challenge that come unto you? To the extent that you want to go away from Jesus just because of human being. I'm forgetting what the Bible says. 
You are not above me. No, his servant is above his master. You are not above me. Whatever I experience, you are going to experience it. If you do not experience it, that means you are above me. But you are not above me, my disciple. And I want you to ready for uncommon. The purpose is to comfort them for all what they are passing, they are passed through. As just an ordinary twelve, in the midst of all the Jews, in the midst that when you are talking about the Jew, it be, it's better. It's even about the Gentile. The same are you, as a Christian. You face challenges. It may be in the church. It may be at home. But the, 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 the God is telling you, Jesus is telling you that you are not above me. And as far as you are not above me, all what is happening shall surely happen to you. But I want you to I want you to take the challenge. He was warning them against the challenge. He was encouraging them that they should stay firm. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, my dear sister, my dear brother, you will not run away because of the challenge in Jesus' name. No matter what the situation may be, if Jesus Christ can stand and withstand it, what thing I want you to know, not the kind of challenges that come to Jesus Christ will come to you. I want you to know the only thing that can happen to you now is to be crucified spiritually. It's very hard. Before they do, the police will come that they want to crucify you on the cross. Let us be sincere. And then you are saying all the suffering of Jesus Christ, you are ready to suffer for it. You are just deceiving yourself. Devil will not come in that way. Devil will come in another way that is, it is invisible. But that is your own cross. If you drop that cross at that particular time, knows that you have left the master, the master of the cross. If it is me, I will continue to be thinking, what is that area? That my cross is heavy. To the extent that the people of the world will see and they will take somebody else to come and help me to carry it. The grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you, will be sufficient for me in Jesus' name. The people that are doing that, all what they want you to do is to lost your focus. Is to lose your way. Is to forget that road you are going. Devil may be using them. They may be using themselves. But my dear brother, my dear sister, in the Lord, it's better. If you stay steadfast, and the grace of the Lord will be with every one of you, and the grace of the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know, Everyone shall be shall accountable for his deed before Almighty God. No matter what you do, either you make other person fall, either you hold other person to stand, either you hold other person. To make you to the kingdom of God. By the time you get there, you shall be accountable. Either you are a wife, you are a husband, you are a leader, or whatsoever you are, you are going to be accountable for whatever you do for each individual. And then don't be surprised that why, Pastor, you said I will be accountable. Look at the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 12. Book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 12. And I saw the day, small and great, stand before God. And the book was open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things 
which were written in the books according to their works, this shows you are going to be judged. No matter what the case may be. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and dead and air delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. My dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, I always say something here in this church. There's a message I'm listening to that always encouraged me. And that many times I've said it. Pastor said, yes, we put down a stone. But when we are telling everybody to build on that stone, it depends on the how you build it. But if we know that that's how you want to build that stone, and we talk to you, we call you, we advise you, we pray for you, we do everything that that kind of stone you want to put down, we destroy the church, and you say, no, we are not going to accept, we are ready to accommodate you. We are ready to accept you where you are. We are ready to accept your habits. But the problem is this. Let's say we will accept. Almighty God will not accept. And in the last day, when God is speaking, I will talk, I will tell God, God, when you are talking about tolerance, I tolerate this brother, I'll tolerate this sister. When you are talking about patience, I have patience for this brother, I have patience for this. When you are talking about humility, I humble myself before this brother, I humble myself before this sister. It was the one that decided that this stone is going to be, then the book of life will be open. And then do not forget, there's a one thing that always gives me a concern. If you have not known, the Bible says one day is like 1,000 days before Almighty God. Then you will be surprised that you will be called. That their brothers see. They talk about the church of the Lord in, the, in, the, in, in, in this place, in this place. Come and say your own. It doesn't take your tongues. Calculate it. If one, if one day and you live 70 years, Bible says if you live 70 years above, it's out of sorrow, but we are going to live more than that to work for the Lord in Jesus' name. But Bible now said, okay, 1,000 1, years, like, like one day. That means if God calls you to come and account for all the years you have used, it doesn't take God one minute for your tongue to say everything you have done. Because if 1,000 1, 1, years, like one day, what is your 70 years, mathematician? It doesn't take one minute. So do not be surprised when the Bible says, oh, everyone of us is going to be judged. It doesn't take everybody one more minute, one more minute, one more minute to say everything you have, you have known. And this is why we are telling you that my dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, Bible is beyond what you are taking it, especially when you said you have degrees. And I pray Almighty God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. As a disciple, as a child of God, there's a lot of things that will come in our way. And that's why I divide the message into three. Expect misunderstanding and suffering as a servant of God. Expect misunderstanding and suffering as a servant of God. The second one. The second one, exposure of Satan's plan against the faithful. Exposure of Satan's plan against the faithful. And the third one, exception to the fear not of the defeated. Exception of the fear lord unto the defeated. I will quickly go to the first one. Expect misunderstanding and suffering as a servant of God. In the book of Matthew chapter 10, Chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. And this one does not mean either you are a woman or a man. You are a husband or a wife. Or you are a wife of a pastor or wife of, the, of a leader. 
The Bible is telling us, expect misunderstanding and suffering as a servant of God. In the book of Matthew chapter 10, book of Matthew chapter 10, book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 24 to 25, 24 to 25, the disciple is not above his master, thank you, God bless you, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as a master and servant as his Lord. I've told us in my introduction, you don't above your leader. You don't above your Lord. You are not above Jesus Christ. And then, you know, there was a, I, I was just looking at it now, it was an insult. And then I've met a lot of people in that way, they say it as a, as a, as a, 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 in, in a physical way. Martha and Mary, I mean, uh, Martha and Mary, they were there. And then Mary was serving. Martha sat down. And then, you know, you know, our present leader, they will tell us, you have that opportunity, you have that, uh, you have that, uh, what the, there was there was a language they call it and you have that god is it god, god or something like that to come and tell me that this is what i'm doing that jesus christ was preaching and then the other one came and said look she sat down where i'm serving and he didn't jesus christ didn't 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 didn't, didn't angry do you know what he said this one that's sitting down is even better than you that running at a scatter like Esau. If you dare talking to one of our leader like that, they will say and see him. He still have the the I don't know the language. The, the God to come and ask me that somebody sit down why, why that person is sitting down listening to my message and he is is the God to come and ask me. That's how you will see how God is, Jesus Christ is very, very humble. Many of us, we have done it. That who are you? You even, I, I'm preaching and I'm doing it, you still have that. Yeah. So, so, as a Christian, my dear brother, my dear sister, expect misunderstanding and suffering as a sufferer of God. God encounter it i'm speaking the word of life you you are serving food you are telling me that the food you are serving is better than the word of life i'm, 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 I'm preaching it's understanding but what did he do he brought that woman to a level to let her know the word of the law is better than the physical food and I pray that that kind of patience God will continue to give to us in Jesus' name. In the book of Hebrew, chapter 5, in the book of Hebrew, in the book of Hebrew, chapter 5, 8 to 9, in the book of Hebrew, chapter 5, and when you are encountering something like that, my dear sister, my dear brother, know that what you are encountering, what you are facing, it's just for God to strengthen you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, it's going to strengthen you, it's going to strengthen me in Jesus' name. In the book of Hebrew, chapter 5, book of Hebrew, book of Hebrew, chapter 5, Hebrew, Bible, chapter 5, 8 to 9. If you see it, you can read 5, 8 to 9. of eternal salvation you know that that's what that jesus christ was the son of god that's what he was saying to come and say that's what that there's no any other person above him that's what that there's no one above jesus christ but see what bible say he preached that's your no anger the time come for him to be angry jesus christ did not angry 
And then that's what the Paul now look at when he was addressing the Hebrew. That my dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, this Jesus Christ I'm preaching to you, I know him. I've studied him. He met me on the way to Damascus. And he talked to me directly. And among those things, I saw in him as a child of God that let me believe in him and let me able to preach his word that though he was a son, yet the, the power is there for him. That shall not kill. He was the one that preached it on the summer on the, month, on the month. Then when all those people came for trying to kill him, Peter brought his word. But do not forget that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has preached. That shall not kill. Not even only by his word, but by, by your mouth. Jesus Christ will be. He know the pain is going to suffer. He know what is going to pass through to the extent that he told Peter, yes, I know you love me. I know you don't want me to go through this pain. I know you, you put yourself in my life. And because of everything I've told you, you are imagine that what about if they put me on the cross and they started naming me, were you able to stand this and you brought your sword? But do not forget, I preach the word that that shall not kill. I have the power to kill. I can order for the legion of angels to come and battle these people and then within a minute, they are gone. But do not forget, I pray the word. That shall not kill. And then the, the, Paul said, I know this man. I've studied him. I've read about him. And look at what I've seen him. Though he was a son, yet learn he obedience by the thing which he suffer. My dear brother, my dear sister, what is that still that you are encountering? What is that still you are passing through? That because of that single thing, you have forgotten what the Bible says. Are you no more a gentle woman? You no more a gentle girl. And then if we want to introduce you, we better say, what is some process of gentle? Because they always say gentleman. What is some process of gentle? So maybe we can say riot man or riot woman to introduce that particular person. But thank God, the blood of Jesus Christ is sufficient for me, is sufficient for you. And they will see everyone first to in Jesus' name. That is what you are looking at. No, you do not have power. That is what you are obeying. Not that you cannot revolt. That is what you are looking at. I make you foolish. And I told us the last time, the Bible said the foolishness of God is better than the wisdom of man. You are not foolish. When we are talking about taking action, you, are, you can take an action. When you are talking about taking no, you know how to say no. When we are talking about no, it's not possible. You know how to do it. But the Bible says the foolishness of God is better than the wisdom of man. You will rather let that foolishness take over than being praised that you are not going to. And then the people of the world, if the people of the world can come out that I'm a manor, I'm a fertilizer, I'm a dustbin, and then because I say, because of I'm a manor, I'm a fertilizer, I'm a dustbin, it is because of that my, my spectacle is growing and being expanding. What about you in the Christ? In your place of work, apply it. Challenges will come. You may even be thinking that, okay, this is not the church of the Lord. This is the place of work. People don't take nonsense. My dear brother, my dear sister, you take that nonsense. They are looking at you as an example. In your marriage, that insult will come. Enjoy it. The reason is, the, is why? It is because of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Made to come and complain. That I'm speaking in my authority, in my kingdom. I'm speaking the word of the Lord. That somebody is speaking, but you are talking about they should be serving food. Say everybody is serving food. Who is going to listen to my word? 
he, t- he, he, he brought himself down and called her into order. And the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the character of God, the attribute of God will continue to dwell in our life in Jesus' name. Luke 9, 26. Luke 9, 26. 9, 62. 9, Luke 9, 62. It is not the will of God for you to abandon the assignment God has given to you. But, amen. To the plug and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. If it's just because of that little sin, if just because of that little offense, if just because of that little, I'm higher, I'm doing that, and then we encounter it in your place of work, in the church of the Lord, and you look back. Look at what the Bible says. No man. Having put his hand to the plug, you have determined that no matter what the case may be, I will do my best to take this church to a stream. I will do my best to surrender everything about my life, about everything to the, to the God. But just because a little sin and you change. Remember the word of the Lord. No, remember, no, don't remember any other thing. And then I know if all this word is in you, as it is in Jesus Christ, to the essence that devil comes and said, bow down. Jesus Christ claimed the, the name of that word. He said, have you forgotten what the Bible says? You will be able to claim that word of the Lord when that thing comes, that this word the Bible says. And then you can be like me. And I want you to try it after the service. Slap me and see if I will slap you back. God will help us in Jesus' name. I know you will not do it. <laughs> I like that one. We let me quickly go to the, the, the second point. Exposure of Satan's plan against the faithful. Devil does not want you to make it to the kingdom of God. Do you? And this is how you will know. If Jesus Christ, I, I've never gone to Satan church. And by the grace of the Lord, I will not know the entrance in Jesus' name. And no one among you will know the entrance in Jesus' name. But if Monday we are troubling you that be in the house of the Lord, come and hear the word of the Lord. Thursday, we are troubling you that be on prayer meeting so that we can pray together. That one remember me for last Thursday. I've sent the apology letter to everybody. On Sunday morning, we are telling you, come. Evening, we are forcing you, come. And then, we are preaching the word of the Lord, so that no one among us, do not forget what, what, what made Moses wanted to lose the kingdom of God. What is that? Anger. Nothing more, nothing else. This is a man that said, okay, I know I've been safe, and then you put my name in the book of life. But for you to let these people perish, take my name out of the book of life. The only person that I saw, if I remember, that did that is Jesus Christ. Okay, take my name out of the book of life. And then for somebody to want to sacrifice his son, and he knows about hell. Do not forget that he went. When he was called, he was before the fire. He saw the fire. Moses was in the fire. He couldn't go inside the fire. He said, I will stay to be watching. That lets you know that he knows what fire means. Let's say the fire is very easy. He would have gone there and jumped inside the fire and said, no, what is burning this fire? What is making it red? I want to see. But Moses said, no, this is fire. I won't go. And I said, okay, because of these people, that fire, the one, I couldn't go. When you saw your glory, I'm ready to die inside the 
that fire. Take my way out of the out of the book of life so that I can burn. If that's why you, are, you want I run away for before. Put me there now. I'm ready to die there. But save this life of these people. God not tell them. No, it's not possible. The sin, the soul, the the soul that sin shall be punished. You will not do that. Okay. Moses able to do all those things. Now, on this day, on me, the day he was to go to the kingdom of God, now devil appear. I know this Moses, he obey you, he respects you, and I know you love him. But this one thing he had done, he, did, he was angry. And as a result of that one, he doesn't qualify to go to the kingdom of God. Do not forget during that period, there's no grace. It's by judgment. Jesus has not come. If individual person said God did partiality on him, God did partiality on Moses to take him to the kingdom of God. But who is going to query him? It's Alpha and Omega. The one that can close and nobody can open. The one that can open and nobody can close. It's as a result of his Alpha and Omega, Moses able to make it to the kingdom of God. And you say, how did I know? The month of transgression. So it is this anger we are telling you, it is this anger we are warning you, it is this anger everybody is saying from morning to night that come. If there's anything we know you are very good about, let this anger go. So that we not disturb you when you get to the kingdom of God. We are very good, not anger, but lying. We are very good, not lying. Maybe like the one we listened to last last time, humility. You are very good not humility, but biting. You are very good not by biting a lot of things. You know yourself. They are against the will of God. And we are telling you it's only anger. God wants to God the devil want claim against Moses. But it's still you find it difficult to change. The wind, the kingdom of God, the road is very narrow. You won't take it. It won't take it. That's why Paul looked at it. He said, if not that we, believers, we have hope in the kingdom of God, we will have made the most foolish person on earth. But because only our hope, only thing, and it is because of that, when you slap me in the, this afternoon, I will say sorry. Not because of any other thing. I have hope in the kingdom of God. When I step on your stone and you said no, you didn't even know before I before I said sorry, you have said, Oh, I'm very sorry. I was the one that I was the one that stepped on your stone. But before I said sorry, you have said not because of any other thing, because of your hope. When I disrespect, when I do a lot of uh, a lot of things, not because of any other thing, not that you cannot make a decision on your own, but because of your if Bible is not lying about making you the head, if it's not lying that the, the, the people of the world may be lack, you, you will not lack. If it does not lack about, if it, that Bible does not lie, only other people may be begging. You shall not beg. My dear brother, my dear sister, it does not lie about if not because we have Jesus Christ, we have hope in kingdom of God, we will have been the most foolish person on earth. So you are not foolish. It's Jesus Christ that's foolish. And can Jesus Christ foolish? Because the Bible says the foolishness of God is even better than wisdom of man. Even Jesus Christ, you have said, is foolish. His own foolishness is better than wisdom of man. Let it go. And if you hold that one between husband and wife, you hold that one in the church, you hold this in your place of work. My dear brother, my dear sister, you will be at peace with everybody. And when my brother called me and said, we are talking. And he said, Brahmati, do you know what? When we get to the kingdom of God, there are many questions we are going to ask God. But first of all, let us get there.
and then for that first of all let us get there do, do not forget everything to that you get there he has given you temperance endurance patience humility uh, godliness everything you need god has given to you except you didn't you, you, you did not use the tool and that's what makes us different from the people of the world the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for every one of us in Jesus' name. My dear brother, my dear sister, the devil does not want you to get there. And the trial may come from any angle. And the devil does not say, if the trial comes from this angle, I will forgive you. He doesn't say, if it comes from this angle, I will forgive you. It doesn't say if you come from your closest person, I will forgive you. Do not forget the most closest person to Almighty God I will, during that time is Satan. What happened to him? He was sent out. And the Bible is describing him as the most beautiful person. You know, when we are mentioning God, we are mentioning Jesus. So. By the time I mentioned God, I mentioned Jesus already. So, but when we are talking about the angels, but what happened to him? He was not spared. And then he does, Satan does not want that hell to be alone. I will not be there. You will not be there in Jesus' name. It takes a cost. And I was preparing the message. The time is come. I will talk about the cost of disciple. God will help everyone of us in Jesus' name. Luke 12, 1 to 11. Luke 12. I will not read that one before I, I will just read a little fast. A little first day. It said, In the meantime, when they were gathered together, an innumerable multitude of people, in summer that they threw one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, the war of you, the living of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. I am this, I am that. But there's a little, what you are, it's not what you are in the house of the Lord. And the disciple, Jesus, you, I so love him, he loved his disciples. To the extent that he was going, when he was going, he was not praying for any other prayer that God, but I leave them. When I was with them, I know what they are. But I'm leaving them now. God, I'm just pleading and begging. Keep them for me. He loves his disciples. He not telling them, be careful. The living, what are those living? Little, little sin that doesn't matter. My dear brother, you see me physically. You know me physically, but I do not know you in secret. I do not know your mind. My dear sister, I know you. You see, we talk, we joke. I do not see you in secret. I do not know your heart. But God knows. Then Jesus was warning them. Yes, these bread are very good, but very, very be careful. Be war of ye the living of the Pharisees, which is hypocrite. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither he that shall not be known. You know, sometimes I, I joke with many of you here, especially when you walk out with things, that I don't have secrets, you are in my family. This part, one of the parts of the Bible I always, except, except I go to the house of, which will not be my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. My, my leader, one, my leader, my, let me, my arrow said no. There's a lot of things. But because I believe in Jesus Christ and because I trust in him, I will never do it. Except I do something that is, if I know that if sister, if one of my sister is coming, I will quickly go and hide. There was a time we went for, with <laughs> one of my brother will laugh now. He will not know the reason why. We went for soccer free to go and play. So I put on a short sneaker. We went, but later we decided that okay, we are going to buy something in the Sam Club. But I've not seen my <laughs> short sneaker too. Funnily, I met them in Sam Club. Mm. 
<laughs> when I'll be preaching about this kind of things, women will be looking at my leg. <laughs> so if I come now, I turn around. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Although you may not see me on that day, nobody may see me. I'm going to be, I don't wear any car. I went to the Vitovi. <laughs> so God will help us in Jesus. That's why the Bible says little, little, too much exercise. So what am I saying? There's nothing that whoever knows. Maybe that, normally, I don't normally go out with Nickers. Maybe I wouldn't have gone out, maybe every five. But that's not just an excuse. I was with Nickers. But the question is, God see us more than that. The, that's the way the day of the, ju- the judgment will come. I will never expect it. Let's say, you know, there's a sin that leads to condemnation immediately. That's a sin that leads to condemnation. That's just the end. That the, how the day of the judgment will come on that day. And that's the end. My GS said, we are telling you, run away from this woman. You say, no, it's not the HIV. Yes, it is HIV. But God is going to forgive you. But this care of the HIV will never go away. And everybody that knows those people who are going through the HIV pain, you know what the pastor was saying. So my dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, all what we are saying, be careful. As you know the plan of the devil, that does not want you to make to the kingdom of God. And God is going to help us. God is going to be with us in Jesus' name. Exception to the fear not of the devoted. The only person, the only person that you need to fear is who? Almighty God. No more, no less. And that one, let me so take from my brother and sister that went for the evangelism and most of all that praying for us that the grace of the lord will continue to be with you in jesus name in your place of work in your environment in any area you are pray the word fear nobody and the grace of the lord will be with you in jesus name let us rise up to pray Call upon the name of the Lord. You have feared the word of the Lord. Fear not. The challenge will come. And where did that challenge is come? The only person you need to fear is God. But what are those commandments of the Lord in your mind? Are you keeping it? To the extent that one person will think you are fearing him. It's not you are fearing him or her. The only thing you are fear is Almighty God. No woman being. And that one make you a foolish person. Call upon the name of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. My dear brother, my dear sister, do not forget what the Bible says. There's no condemnation for those people who are under the grace. What are those grace? The grace that that shall not do this, that shall not do that. that shall... When we are talking about grace, we are talking about Jesus Christ. Do you know the commandment of the Lord? Do you Are you obeying the commandment of the Lord? Call upon the name of the Lord. The grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you. In your Christian journey, who are you? If Jesus Christ encounter problem, why do you think you are not going to encounter problem? If Jesus Christ encounter insult, why are you not going to encounter insult? If Jesus Christ encounter disrespect, can't you forget? Have you forgotten what the Bible says? Not a servant that is more than his leader. And then I want you to know the plan of God. The temperature may come from your leader. The trial may come from somebody that is very closer to you. The trial may come from somebody that you never expect. The trial may, the trial may even come from an area whereby nobody can ever know. But no, the plan of the devil that you shouldn't make it to the kingdom of God. He wants to make an excuse. Like he made an excuse against Moses. 
Kalau pun dia muda lo, kalau pun dia muda lo, then who's that person you need to fear, Almighty God? If you fear God, you will obey His commandments. That shall not do this. That shall not do this. It's, a, it's as a respect of to Almighty God, and it's as a respect of fear to Almighty God. Fear Him, respect Him. You will live in peace. You will live in harmony. For the Lord God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of boldness and of sound mind. And in all that you face, in all the challenges, in fulfilling God's purpose and God's will, that the joy of the Lord will be your strength, will see you through all. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we give you all the praise. Father, you said, Lo, you are with us always, even to the end of the day. Father, in this confidence, we will move and do your will. That in this mind, we will triumph and be victorious over every circumstance, over every challenge, temptation, persecutions. That may come our way in Jesus' name. Father, we've heard your word. You said we should fear not. Father, we also hear your word today. The important of allowing you to direct our parts. Father, we ask. That we will walk through the valleys of the shadow of death. That we will fear no evil. Because we know that you are with us always. That the feet of the righteous, they are, they are ordained and they are directed by you. Father, we pray that through it all and in all, we will be victorious in Jesus' name. Father, like a shining star. We will all come forth. Father, that on that day, O oh Lord, that you will say unto us, Wait down, thou good and faithful servant. For that none of us here, O oh Lord, will miss your kingdom in Jesus' name. For that when the books are open, then our name will be in the book of life. For that the grace to live the life. The ability, all that it takes, O oh God, to fulfill your will. Father, give it unto us and help us to stand by it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say to your neighbor, fear not, for the Lord is with thee.